You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die. Think, Mark. What will you have after 500 years? Oh, you, God. I still have you. Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Dapper Rat, and today we're going to touch on Druid from Dark and Darker. The Druid class has been in hot water ever since release, and it has clawed at me every day seeing simple solutions with seemingly no one talking about it. Druid suffers from having too much stuff. He's nimble with both burst damage and fast DPS availability, as well as having crowd control and some of the best healing in the game. Druid's only real shortcoming is lack of good range options. Mind you, he does have a range spell, it's just not amazing. Uh, it, w which is good, by the way, please don't buff it. The clear issue is that Druid, compared to every other class, can do too much all at the same time. With this, a very, very simple proposal arises. The various shapeshifts that Druid has should cost memory slots. This will heavily limit exactly what a Druid can do, and encourages a playstyle where you choose one or two parts of their kit to spec into. This means that like other classes, druids have to pick whether they want to be a spellcaster or a shifter of some kind, with the more powerful shift forms like panther costing more than weaker shift forms like chicken. This also means that if a druid does want a wide array of shift forms and spells, then they will have to stack knowledge and memory slot bonuses to a point where abusing the stat scaling of a shifted form is less viable. The issue with druids isn't any individual part of their kit, it's the fact that they can be a rogue, a barbarian, a healer, a spellcaster, and have some of the best utility in game all at the same time. Which means every time you engage a druid, it is the same as engaging a class that is more difficult for you to beat than another class. That being said, some of you are pretty whiny and this is with respect to rat form. Rat form, I'm pretty sure, instantly kills you if you take literally any instance of damage because of how much HP and damage reduction you lose. This means the whole they can turn into a rat form and run away is a skill issue. Every single class can use explosive bottles and oil lanterns as well as spells with splash damage or spells with damage over time hard counter rat form. You can also add to the fact that the window hopping tech for a druid is really useful but also incredibly punishable and easy to read. You know exactly where they're going to be, when they're going to be there, and they're going to have so little HP that a throwing knife can kill them even if they haven't taken any damage. Ratform is realistically one of the smallest skill checks in this game, and it blows my mind that you, the player, have every tool at your disposal needed to counter Ratform and insta-kill a player, yet you don't seem to take it. On another note, panther form should probably swivel around the shoulders of the panther instead of the midsection. Simply having the point of rotation be at the head would make the panther's head too easy of a target to hit compared to humans, but having it at the midsection makes it damn near impossible to hit a panther's head at all. Hence, the shoulders should be a good middle ground. Shapeshift mastery should be completely overhauled into something else or be reworked to have a cooldown. Realistically, the choice of shifting should matter, so instantly shifting forms over and over makes fighting druids a nightmare. One of the big pain points is when a druid goes from rat to bear as there's a huge influx of HP, space taken, and damage output. The sound of shapeshift and by extension the time it takes should be there to warn combatants that a shift is going to happen, giving them time to react and prepare. This could also birth a playstyle of turning into the same animal you already are, essentially pump faking a shift. Entangling vines, on the other hand, should get a radius increase, probably to 3 or 4 meters, and instead of root players in spot, it should apply a very minor movement slow. This will make it a more viable spell in open rooms, instead of essentially being a hunting trap that you can instantly place at a doorway. Treant should gain a buff in either HP, PDR, DPS, or even scale based on a stat, but also in turn should not be summonable in a 3 to 5 meter radius around the middle of a doorframe. Currently, Entangling Vines, Treant, and Thorn Barrier all effectively serve the exact same purpose of blocking doorways. Because of this, I want each spell to be varied enough to serve a purpose and therefore serve a choice to be made. 
To summarize, druids' shapeshifting forms should cost memory in order to stop druids from being a one-man band that can do everything. Players need to use their brain a little instead of bitchin' all the time in regards to rat form. Panthers should swivel around the shoulders instead of the midsection just to make the head easier to hit without truly just fucking them over. Instant shift should either have a cooldown or be completely overhauled as it is very frustrating to play against. Entangling vines should be larger and apply a minor movement slow. And finally, treant should be buffed likely through stat scaling and in turn cannot be placed near doorways. I feel like any array of these additions would make the druid a much more healthy character, with shapeshifting forms costing memory slots being the healthiest change of them all. And with that being said, like and subscribe, and as always, farewell ladies and gents.